Turkish police forced their way onto the headquarters of Zaman newspaper, using tear gas and water cannons unsparingly at protesters in their way. Zaman is the country's biggest opposition paper, a vocal critic of President Erdogan. And just hours earlier, the government put it under state control. Now its editors and staff have been forced from the building as the paper takes on a new editorial line. Unfortunately, it has been a habit for the last three, four years that anyone who is speaking against uh, the government policies is facing either court cases or prison or such uh, control by, by, by the government. And uh, I think this is a dark period for our country, for our democracy, but I don't think that this dark period will continue. Angered by the seizure, protesters had been shouting for democracy and free speech. The US State Department called it the latest in a series of troubling actions by the Turkish government against press freedom. No official explanation has been given for the court's decision. Zaman is closely linked to the US-based Muslim cleric Fethullah Gulen, viewed by President Erdogan as an enemy of the government. Many of his supporters have been arrested, and this takeover is seen as 